Donkey Ollie. And these are the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments were given to Moses by God. They tell us what our duties to God are, as well as our duties to other people. They are the most important rules we have. Hi there! We all know we shouldn't steal, but it's hard, especially when the thing you want is right in front of you. My three brothers know all about that. They give in pretty easily. The Eighth Commandment says, Thou shalt not steal. Pretty simple, isn't it? And direct, clear, to the point, right? <sighs> Why my brothers couldn't understand that? I'll never know. Well, I for one am tired of eating straw and doing all this work for nothing. But Uncle John has been good to us. Look, we even got our own stable. That's just to keep us fresh for more free labor. I say we ditch this place and join up with the gang. We'd be free and do what we want. They don't even work. All they do is steal what they need. Sinbad wants to know if you fellows are coming with us. You have to prove you'll be more loyal to us than to your own family. We need you to bring us three bags of food from your barn. You want us to steal from Farmer John? It's not stealing. He owes us a lot more than that. Just look at his payback time. Sure, we'll do it. Look, you want to be free? You're either in or out. So they joined a donkey gang. And they stole from Farmer John. But they found that their new life wasn't quite what they thought it would be. Well, it looks as if so far you've all passed the test. Those bags of food look pretty appetizing. We don't usually eat dry food. Farmer John always fed us carrots. Sometimes honey roasted oats, too. Oh. What's wrong, Whipper? You look surprised. Never had a carrot? I've had carrots, but you make it sound like it's an everyday thing. It's been a long, long time since I ate any carrots. I almost forgot what they taste like. That's sad. You mean your hideout doesn't have carrots or oats? No. Wild donkeys don't know how to farm. All we ever did was work for people who did know how. Now they just hunt us down. I, last week, I... Yeah, what uh, happened last week? Is there something you're not telling us? Whipper, oh. bring those three fellows with you. We'll travel by the light of the moon. We'll travel by the light of the moon. In the day we'll sleep and at night we'll swoop Down on unsuspecting bottles drinking everything is fine we'll Wake up in the morning they will all be crying We'll travel They will never find us We all have things that belong to us And we wouldn't want those things taken from us But stealing is more than just possessions Ideas can be stolen Cheating is stealing Stealing in any form is harmful and just plain selfish. Now, son, you put the carrots around the edge of the pit like I asked you, didn't you? Yes, father. I put over three bushels of them. That's a good one. Boy, something sure smells good around here. I know. I've smelled that smell before. Well, it's coming from over there. It smells like, uh... Sinbad said to stay away from the house. Some people are really light sleepers. Ollie, what are you doing here? Jehu gave me one week to get you guys to turn yourselves in. Otherwise, he's going to get a posse together, and they're going to bring you back dead or alive. Stealing hurts others, but it also hurts us. We become people who, well, we really wouldn't like. So God is looking out for us by telling us not to steal. God asks us to treat others the same way we would like to be treated. Cut him down, son. <laughs> So we don't steal. Is it because we think we might be caught? No. It's because it's the right thing to do. And that's what God would want.